SpongeBob Simulator is a Roblox treasure hunting game where you explore famous bikini bottom locations. Hunting for rubies, clams, and other rewards is easy with the help of SpongeBob SquarePants, Patrick, Squidward, Gary, and others. Play with your friends, beat bosses, and open some of the largest treasure chests ever seen in Bikini Bottom. Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will do a quick walkthrough of Nickelodeon's Spongebob Simulator. It took me a minute to figure out what to do with all these buddies, but you can come here and use Patrick's Golden Rocket Lab to merge five of the same buddies to increase their buddy strength. I have 12 robot Mr. Krabs, so I'll merge five to see what happens. It costs 17,700 rubies, and that almost wiped me out, but it's nice to know you can power up your buddies because they do all the heavy hitting. You get stronger over time by unlocking and merging buddies to help you destroy items, or you could purchase one of the many game passes. The game is updated every Friday, with most updates having new morphs, zones, buddies, and features added to the game. Buddies can be valued in terms of gold and the percentage of goober power, which you use as a reference for trading them. Several quests are going on at one time and you get to quest for different things in each of the zones. You could trade with other players and I could see why that would be a cool aspect of this game, but I need to figure out the strategy. I did see a price table online somewhere and some buddies can be worth a lot and they can can be rare, so I need to learn more about that before I start giving away stuff. If you have any advice, please leave a comment. Here is the clam codex. It shows you some zones. I believe there are at least 64 zones so far. You get to claim a reward after you open the right buddies for that zone. I have so many buddies right now, but I need to learn which ones are better than others. I just keep getting more and learning more about this game. Trading might be the best way to get buddies, but you'll need to know how to price them. I saw that in another video. Some buddies can be a super buddy and will always be 115% as strong as your best buddy and that sounds great. So check out my buddy Leo. He's so cool and every time I merge my buddies I get surprised with what my new buddies look like. One of the first quests will be to destroy safes, open clams, and destroy double loon files. Luckily that's where your buddies come in. They will attack and you will quickly move up to the next zone. You open the next zone once you have the buddy power which happens super fast. You can teleport around the map to the different zones. You unlock the next zone by using double loons and rubies, and you get double loons by destroying the maps, rocks, crates, chests, and drills. You could go take the boat school time trial here. I need to come back and do better with this, but my buddies just follow me around and are always ready to break things. Another quest is to find secrets. Each area has you hunting for these items. This is a fun part of the game because it's like an egg hunt, and I enjoy a good egg hunt. I had to do some obbying, but one of the reasons this game is fun is because these obbies are easy. You'll find many of these items in treetops, but you will have no problem finding all secrets. It's fun and easy. So I, I will keep up with merging some buddies because they keep getting more powerful but more expensive. So you go through the map to open new zones and find new quests in these zones, but you will grind for buddy points, double loons, and rubies. Buddies seem to be the equivalent of pets in other simulators. They have different rarity stats like rare, legendary, mythical, or you can get exclusive with Boober Deluxe. You can upgrade with Golden and Rainbow. This looks a little tricky, but it's perfect for me. Just enough obbying. I get stressed out when I cannot complete an obby, so good for you if you're good at that. You collect all the items and you get fireworks. So I love these morphs. Check out Beach Spongebob. Soon we'll have Skeleton Spongebob Morph, Night Spongebob Morph, and Quickster Spongebob Morph. You will be challenged to battle Man Ray, and you do get lucky to find other players who are battling this boss too, because together you have a much better chance of taking this boss down. And I feel so lucky to now have the Man Ray Morph. If you complete certain quests, you come here to the Imagination Station to claim a new reward. Okay, that's cool. Beach SpongeBob has been upgraded to four stars. So, Plankton's Potions is a machine allowing players to create potions using their rainbow buddies and is located in Area 32 in the medieval world. 
to use Plankton's potions, you come here and then you will pick any of your rainbow buddies and create three types of potions. You could get Buddy Power Potion, Doubloons Potion, and Ruby's Potion. All are common at Tier 1 and they temporarily increase your equipped Buddy Power by 10%. You can go as high as tier 6, but you can obtain an unlimited amount. Every time the player adds a rainbow buddy to the station, they will contribute to making a potion of their choice. When they reach 100%, the player will receive the potion they have picked and lose the buddies chosen to be used. Potions are great because they increase the amount of doubloons, rubies, and buddy power for 15 minutes. I have opened many buddies and still have a few more to go, but I have progressed in this game so fast and I'm really enjoying this experience. Look at those giant buddies, I mean, that's awesome. I do see some cool morphs and buddies running around for sure. Once you complete Zone 36, you come down here to Rock Bottom and it feels like a different world. Here you could buy chocolate from a vending machine. Each chocolate costs 1500 rubies, but they make buddies choose new targets 50% faster and they last for 2 minutes. I'm having so much fun learning about this game. It has its glitches for sure and I hope they could fix these issues at some point. But they do update it every week and add new elements to the game. I hope you enjoyed watching and leave a comment if you also like this game. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay informed. So until next time, I'll see ya!